then it's Blackpool. So the FA Cup fourth round. Um, we don't know too much about Blackpool. I mean, they've appointed uh, Mick McCarthy as their new head coach to the end of the season. 23rd in the championship, Steve. Um, they had a great result against Forest, obviously, in the last round of the Cup. Is this a potential banana skin for us or is it a chance to, to, to get a few goals and, and push on with some confidence? Uh, both. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a huge banana skin on the basis of their league position. Um, but as you say, I mean, they beat, uh, I mean, Forrest made loads of changes, but for, this is Nottingham Forest who made 27 signings last summer. Um, so they've got to give those players a run out at some point. And, um, and I mean, they absolutely smashed them, didn't they? 4-1. Mm, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, thank God we avoided, um, avoided another game against Forrest. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously a, a banana skin, but it's also one where I think, I mean, realistically, that's our opportunity for bedding in new signings, uh, trying something a little bit different, maybe uh, a little bit more of an attacking outlook. Um, I mean, as as reasonable as Lianco has played these last three games, um, can we please have a right back at right back and a left back at left back? I don't. I'd like to think I'm not asking for the asking for the world there. Um, just occasionally have players in their in their strongest positions. That'd be nice. Um, and I mean, I think one of the keys is getting Lavia back fully fit and able to do 90 minutes because he's obviously come off on the hour mark pretty much every game, I think, since, he, since he's been been back in the team. So um, whether that's an opportunity to rest him and give others an opportunity or whether it's a case of, right, this is the one where you're going you're gonna to go the distance and we're going to see, see what you've got. Um, that's a bit of a coin toss for me, I think. Um but yeah, I mean, just don't get beat because that'd be. I mean, if if you end if you end up get dumped out by uh, by Mick McCarthy um, on his first first managerial game back for, I mean, how I mean, how long has he been out of the game? He's been out, must have been out for a good couple of years since he left. Yeah, since Car- he left Cardiff. It was Cardiff last. Yeah. It was Cardiff last, wasn't it? And he, yeah. and he was yeah. awful. It was dreadful at Cardiff as well. Yeah. And, and their, their game was postponed at the weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. So he so he's had basically a week and a half with these players to prep them for this game. Um, so yeah, you'd imagine they'll be very well drilled, um, sort of very sort of new manager, right. We're going to, we're going to run, run our asses off for, for the new guy. See, see what happens. Make sure we get, a get ourselves a place in the team for the rest of the season. Does a lot but, of it um, depend on how Tuesday goes, Jacob? Um, you, you, you look at a game like this and you think, actually, there might be some of the players from the B team that are scoring for fun at the moment that could be on the bench or could be in with a shout. But if if Tuesday doesn't go well, then the pressure's kind of back on for, for Saturday. So is, is there a little bit of, let's wait and see what happens on Tuesday? Maybe, but I think Southampton need to be confident in the squad that you know they can take that game out of, out of the equation against Newcastle. They can just back the squad and back the the guys on the periphery, really. I like. I think there'll be some of the youngsters on that bench. You know, Jimmy J Morgan, uh, like Steve said. I think the signings uh, will, which should come in, really, and, and you know, Maitland Niles as well. These type of guys that need need games. So, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. And if Southampton can't can't win against Blackpool, even with their second string team, out, then it's going to be an issue. But I'm probably most looking forward to the Mick McCarthy, Nathan Jones post match press conferences because they're going to be such throwbacks. No <laughs> PR training. It's just going to be incredible. And I think that might be even more interesting. <laughs> might be even more entertaining in the game I think there's going to be some great lines out there and if I could do a piece on just what those two said alone then um, I think it would be quite enjoyable to be honest with you Is it a shame Glenn we're not going to see Michael Appleton because that would have been good fun <laughs> to get him at St Mary's no, Not really uh, he was their he, he was their manager when we played him in the championship hmm. them yes. being, being the right, team yes. that we can't mention yeah um, so no I don't I don't think it really matters I mean it's interesting that it's um, McCarthy's first game and uh yeah, as, as Jacob says about the, the press conference, I, I, I would personally be amazed if the press conference isn't more entertaining than the game. <laughs> um, I, I think, it, yeah, it could be a, a hoofball spectacular, that game, because uh, McCarthy is not known for his, um, his uh, flowing football either. So um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what he's um, what what he does with that squad. I was look, I was looking at the Blackpool squad, and uh, they got a guy called Gary Medine who played. Oh, he's a centre, centre <laughs> forward. He played against us in the Johnston Paints final. Oh so my he's, word! He's, he's, he's been around. He scored yeah. for Carlisle. Yeah, yeah, he scored for Carlisle against us. He's been going for a long, long time. So uh, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I mean, he's been in the uh, lower leagues 
I mean, the championship aren't really the lower leagues, but he, you know, he hasn't. I don't think he's made it any. Uh, I'm surprised he's in the championship, to be honest. Maybe we'll get him in. <laughs> yeah, maybe we will. Yeah, <laughs> lower league, big centre forward. This is the sort of player that we uh, we probably will sign. I'm sure Jacob will be writing, writing about that next week.